Okay, I'm ready. Let's get into back this. to my channel. So we're gonna do a little vlog style video because the weather is lovely out here and I just feel the need to talk about something. Um, I'm redoing this video. <laughs> I recorded it before, but I really think I need to touch on the fact of self-worth and just loving yourself. S excuse me, loving yourself. I used to hate myself, you know? It has not been a walk in the park with me, learning how to love myself, and I know it sounds corny. Like, you don't love yourself, what? But I feel like loving yourself is on like different levels. You have to love yourself contently you know what I mean you have to love yourself on this like content level of love and I could not do that I did not love myself and the stuff that I put myself into clearly showed that I didn't love myself or respect myself it took me a long time to feel like this like how I feel now like I really know what I want I, I for once in my life you guys I know what I want and it's like emotional a little for me because I was so confused for so long like I was looking for this like fake generic love you know what I mean and I was always comparing myself to other people and saying like why don't I have what they have or why don't I look like what they look you know because in high school you guys I'm gonna walk more in the sun um, guys didn't like me in school well that I knew of they didn't show interest in me I don't know if it was because I was a black girl and I live in Salt Lake City Utah and it's per predominantly white I wanted this to be like my little background um, but the guys didn't like me I never got asked to a school dance once I was never asked on a date in school um, I just really felt like I wasn't pretty enough and it really messed with my self-esteem and the way I viewed myself. So if you watched my virginity video on how I lost my virginity, you will know that I was struggling with my self-worth. I was dealing with a guy that didn't like me. And I knew in my heart he didn't like me, but I, at least I had someone. So I was settling. I knew I was worth more. But just to have someone, I was settling with bullshit. And you know, I've been dating all these guys. Like... I hooked up with like all these guys over like a four year period, okay? Not a lot, but it's it's a handful. And all those guys didn't have respect for me. Not one of them. Not one of them really, truly, truly, really had respect for me. None of them. Uh, some were using me. Some were using me for sex. I would say the majority were for sex, you know? They didn't see anything in me. They didn't see me, you know? and this year was the straw for me it was the straw and I looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't like what I seen and I knew that I was like settling for less and I knew that I was disrespecting myself because I was settling for less I was dealing with these fuck boys they didn't give a fuck about me they didn't give a fuck about my feelings they didn't give a fuck about anything they just wanted one thing and that was like to use me for my body and I I hated the feeling that I would feel after the feeling of feeling like used like I did not like that feeling that's how I feel after being with some of these guys they I just felt used me like the things I am passionate about YouTube um, fashion every for me you know and um you know I, I think it stemmed back to like you know growing up in Utah even in grade school when my friends started dating like I never dated in high school I never dated in junior high nobody ever dated me so I, I was looking for this like fake love this fake I was confused so I was looking for love in all the wrong places trying to find a boyfriend or trying to feel accepted really acceptance by others you know I really wanted to fit in and I felt confused and and maybe not because people my age are you know they're dating you know even to this day like I haven't really met I met one guy that was a good guy and I pushed him away sad but even him like I wasn't quite sure about him you know it's just has really you know fucked with my self-esteem on how I view myself you know just not finding good guys or just not dating in high school really fucked with my self-esteem and I'm just here to tell you guys that like I'm 23 years old I'll be 24 in January and I kind of finally know what I want in my life and you know I'm, I'm not gonna lay I'm not gonna push my morals to the side for anyone I'm not, I'm not gonna do that anymore you guys 
I found my self-worth, I know what I want, I know what's gonna be good for me. Content within myself. I have to be comfortable with the fact that I may be alone. And that was so hard for me, to accept the fact that I may be single for a very long time, you know? But that's okay, you know? And I'm not saying like, oh, the reason why I'm celibate, I don't know if I mentioned, like I'm, I'm gonna be practicing celibacy right now. I don't wanna really sleep with anyone at all. I haven't been, don't want to. Um, it's not because like I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to explore my body. No, that's not it at all. I believe that if you are the type of girl that you feel like you want, you're want, you in the hookup stage and you wanna hook up with people and that's just what you wanna do, then you do you, boo. But for me personally, I'm gonna stay celibate because I don't like giving myself to people that I'm not really invested in. And, and that's just me. Like I'll date, I'll make out, kiss, touchy, touchy, but no, no sex, like no intercourse for me. I feel like I just kind of want to wait for someone that's um, really into me. I don't know. I don't know if that sounds stupid, but you know, um, I really want to find someone that likes me for me. And you know, I, I love myself now. I used to hate myself. I hate myself. I used to come home crying, looking in the mirror, not liking what I seen. I used to hate myself, you guys, and you know, for once in my life, it took forever. I'm 23 years old, and now I can finally say, like, I'm very content in myself. I may not be perfect. I'm not this beautiful fucking beauty queen that people see in the magazines, but I know that I'm pretty, and I know my self-worth, and I know that I'm worth a lot, you know, and I know that there's somebody out there for me, and if there's not somebody out there for me, because, you know, I'll be content. I'll be content, and I'll be happy, you know, regardless. I'll get you know I want to travel I want to do me meet different people see different people I'm not afraid to be single like I, I think it's good for me I think I need to learn more about me you know before I even jump into this relationship I can't love anyone if I don't love myself and I'm still learning how to do that well peace you guys I hope you guys like this please comment below um let me know your guys' thoughts it's just a random talking just trying to express how I felt today bye